Hello and welcome. I am the Blue Rose Knight, and insert a humorous intro here because I don't have one. Bic, 1334. Hello, welcome to the stream. Hello and welcome. And I am hearing myself echo because I did not mute that. Okay. So, turn this volume up a little bit. Though I try this in the game. I'm trying to get my sound levels right so you can actually hear the music in here because I rather like it. And that does not appear to be an option. Okay. Well, it's going to be very quiet then. Unless. Okay. That's about as high as I'm going to put. Hopefully you can hear it okay. Hopefully you can hear me better. Because... I don't know why. But I'm sure there's a good reason. So, last time we played, which was several months ago, we completed the island of Ypsilon. And today we will be completing the island of Tolbrand. And Ypsilon and Tolbrand both sound very familiar, and I'm not sure why. They're probably based on something else. I don't know. Some kind of mythology or scientific thing, I'm guessing. Oh, you like it? Okay. Awesome. Okay, and that is why I don't turn up my headphones, because that scares the crap out of me. Uh, but, Bic, 1334, welcome to the Order of the Rose. Thank you for following. Oh, right. It is a decent level. Then again, I mean, I have my, you know, my little adjustment thing for my headphones, which is separate from what you guys are hearing, so hopefully everybody's getting a nice level. Zone 16 through 30. Oh, wait. These are coming soon. We may not be completing this island today, then. I apologize, I was under the impression that this whole island was done. And turning this down. Yeah, I like them a lot. Okay. We will not be doing the whole island, because I did not fully research this apparently. We will be doing these five stages that have been completed. And it's been quite a while. I haven't actually played this game since the last time I streamed it, I don't think. So I am kind of starting from scratch on what I remember. Okay. Kill all knights. And let me see my... No, oh, that's just music on and off. That's not very helpful. You see, can't control us. There we go. Uh, flip wheel the direction, rotate block. Oh, yes, because there's no, like, up and down. Okay, space to start. Uh, a Yanuki. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We can make things make something. I am hoping I can make things. Like I was saying, it has been a while. And right now I am trying to see where all of these knights are. So I know exactly what I need to be planning for. So none up there, but I have one in each of the two towers. Okay. So let's start with some of these. Gonna start with a basic design. I would very much like to remove this piece, but I <laughs> Wow, it's been a while. It has definitely been a while if I can't remember how to remove something. X or delete. Okay. I suppose that makes sense. There we go. Alright. 
right. And get some motorized wheels back because I don't know why. Actually, someone on the front and back put something destructive in the middle, as it were. Oh, wait, are these for this is for stealing for steering, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. As was previously mentioned, it's been a while. since I plan to have something fairly destructive on it. Hoping for some kind of don't want that weaponry. Here we go. Um Ooh a drill. They have added weapons also since I last played. So that is going to change some playstyle stuff here. Mechanical I'm going to try to go through these things as I get to them, like as I'm running out of options and I'm like, oh, I should try something new. Ayanuki. Ayanuk. Ayanuk. I'm going to, I'm going to go with Ayanuk. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the Order of the Rose. And I just broke off my drill. I do not remember things being this difficult to control. The drill is doing a pretty good job on its own though. But we are going to start over here. Um cannon that could be useful only one shot shoots if heated C to ignite shrapnel cannon flamethrower a small why would I add a small torch who's that helping hey Ernest welcome to the stream good to see you um try to do here is add some rotating blades. Swivel joint, ball joint, half point, grip pad. That seems useful. I have no idea for what, but it seems useful. Yeah. I think I may go to the uh, Test track or whatnot. Oh, and it just tore itself apart. And I have no idea what part of it just destroyed this wall, but I feel like that would be helpful. I also feel like this should be moving differently than it is. Okay, clearly, <laughs> clearly I'm rusty. Hmm. You can try this again. Okay, where's. Is there not a, uh. There, set machine on ground. So I'm not instantly taking a 
crap ton of damage. Is it F to shoot the cannon? C. Well, that was effective. In the sense that it did nothing. That drill's pretty effective, though. And then the drill's gone. I wish there was some kind of limiting on the, uh, turn radius. Okay, and these saws do nothing against this stuff. It does not take kindly to bumps. It, no. It definitely does not. But I think I got, what? I'm missing two, two knights here? I guess I could move my camera around and actually see. Three, four, five. Oh yeah, because some of them like run away. Jerks. Okay. Wow, I do not remember machines in this being this finicky. However, there is a very good chance that that's wishful thinking slash remembering on my part. Uh, get rid of the cannon because I didn't do crap. Where is steering hinge? I don't want small wheel. Large. Oh wow, there's a whole bunch of wheels here that I didn't know about. They have cogs now. This is wow. Okay, I don't know what this is about. Um, but yeah, I'm. I'm definitely impressed with how much they've added to this game. However, I am not doing well, as you can tell. Did not mean to rhyme that either. I'm trying to trying to think through my options and still talk. Um, yeah, I could brace the front drill. I'm kind of thinking about just going with like getting rid of the side stuff. Maybe adding some unpowered wheels? No, whoops. I want that to be one. And... Yeah, I don't remember how some of this works, which is really frustrating. That's not going to help me right now. I keep trying to right click to remove stuff. Maybe make it fly? I could. What I want to try first, though, is... Honestly, the kind of simple approach. I'm going to put more drills in the front here. And then I'm going to put, like, a tower on it that goes up high enough that I can hit those things. Which may or may not work. Honestly, if I was a betting man, I would go with will not. <laughs> but... I'll try to have hope. You know, there's... There's definitely a small chance that this could not all go horribly wrong.
and that is way too top heavy. Or front heavy. Not top heavy. Let's see. I'm trying to remember, I used to. Yeah, it was, I think it was the spike balls. I added onto the back because they added all this extra weight. Ah. And I keep one to use WASD for steering, and that is not how it works. Okay, that's definitely not enough weight on the back. Another smike ball, perhaps? Apparently, rear-wheel drive is not an option, at least with the way I have this set up. So, get rid of those, some powered motor wheels on here. I really do want to mess around with the, uh, with the cogs, because those look really fun. Also interested in these small wheels. Ooh. Oh, those are like big, big wheels. I'm I'm very being very curious right now. Oops, and I I will fix that. <laughs> um, soon. There it is. Okay. Now. Okay. I think that just made it significantly more dangerous. I want to see if I can take out all of these guys on the ground, and then I will try to add the, the tower on it. Also, in case anyone was wondering, I'm definitely a better driver than this in real life. Of course, in real life, my car has a turn radius that is not the size of Manhattan. So there's that. Oh, I killed the cow thing. May have been a yak. Okay, I think. No, wait, there's one more back here, isn't there? Can I. Oh, and it took out a drill. No. Okay, I was gonna try to back into him with the spikes, but that clearly isn't working. And I just took out my front wheels. Okay, so some bracing. Bracing would be good. Keys do what? <sighs> like, that is not the key I wanted. I wanted to get rid of that now that I've gotten rid of half the machine. Okay. Come on, game. Do what I want you to do for once. Just, just once. Okay. Now. Let us add this tower of which I have spoken. That should be about the right height for the fancy schmancy drill. I'm gonna move this 
up. I'm gonna put them big tires on the back too. No. And turn off that first. So that I can actually remove stuff. And okay. now it has ridiculously huge tires. And actually I want this drill to be Yeah, further actually here. I don't even need a drill actually for the top. Let's saw there, a metal spike. Ow. Okay. Now can I put a metal spike on? There. Okay, let's see how this does. What it does is being very, very front heavy. I haven't figured it out yet, I have no idea what I'm doing, so, yeah. The current plan is add as much weight on the back as possible, which seems to have worked, and also it looks pretty badass. Like, imagine if you were in the medieval era, and you saw this thing coming towards you. You'd just be like, oh shit. Like, I don't, I don't think you try to fight. You would just be like these guys and play your trumpet. Because apparently all medieval people have trumpets. I'm wrecking that card of gold. I feel kinda bad. I wonder if that gold was like a peace offering and I'm just being... No, I'm I'm not going to accept your peace offering. Look at this. this guy even got a scroll. He could have been like welcoming me. And I'm just like, I'm going to destroy all of you. I know there's one guy left on the ground, but I kind of want to see if this spike is going to do what it's supposed to do. Assuming I can see her. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to save this design and then try something that flies, because it is a pretty good idea. Oh, or I could just take out the tower under him, semi-unintentionally. This thing is just like barely balanced ish. Like, it, it's definitely not balanced. It's giving a great appearance of being balanced, though. Look, I can't destroy the, the rocks with my drills. Oh! Or it could be related to the fact that half of my machine is gone. Of jaws to bite things with. I think that's actually doable. Wait, I, okay, I'm gonna save this. I just got one idea I wanna try before. Uh, I don't even. What, what should I call this? I'm, I'm just gonna call this fail one. And although I could mess with some other... Where's my destroy thing? Although I could mess with like some of my previous designs, I'd like to start from... kind of start from scratch. Okay, so here's my new plan. I'm basically going to build a drilling machine. Like, it's gonna be short and super heavily armored. The 
reason I did it that way is because this way they all interlock. If I just put them all going straight from the middle spine, they wouldn't have actually locked together correctly. So, in case anyone was wondering, that's what's going on. And I am now realizing I have to remove some of this. I should flip that. I should just put this on the outside so that it will uh, actually be able to turn. If you don't do it that way, the wheels, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, do not turn. Which, as one might imagine, can be problematic. Build in the drill machine. Singing this song about building drill machine because I don't know. And what better reason is there than I don't know? You can do the same thing up here so that these posts, which I will mount the drills to, are solid. Technically, I think I probably could do a similar thing with bracing, but I think that this is just as strong, and it is definitely faster. Got those. Let's get some armor on here. Wow, that's so small. Wait, does this have mounting? I can mount things on the big wheels. I actually almost certainly don't need those there, but they're there now. So. Actually, oh yeah, because I put them one block out, that's why there's room behind it. I was gonna be all surprised, and then I realized, duh. Okay. No, can't do it anymore. Those guys really cannot play well. Like, I have been in band, okay? And that is not playing well. That's like when the trumpets are like, oh, we're so cool, we're gonna play all the stuff. And you're like, no, please. Not all the stuff. And if any of you have never been in band, you probably think I'm nuts. However, if you have been in band and didn't play the trumpet, you know what I'm talking about. If you're in band and you played the trumpet, then consider this, I don't know, an atonement for your sins. Okay, the game apparently does not like something about this. I'm gonna go with the six drills. What did I just... She could a Grammy. Something just broke. Oh my gosh, this lag. How did that not... There. Well, 
mostly realizing now that this is not going to turn. It's just going to change the the angle that it moves at. Hmm. Like it's always going to just face straight forward. Which I think I can work with. So let's Oh, unless I get hung up on something. Like I just did. Oh, no, no! I really I lost a wheel. Haul back, and I lost the second wheel. Okay, I'm. I'm not entirely sure what it didn't like. I'm feeling pretty confident it has to do with the drills, though. And I think it was probably okay with these, but they were making. What am I removing? Oh my gosh, really? Okay, now that I've removed, once again, half the machine... Something else that could definitely be improved if somehow there are devs watching. Like, the selecting is super not easy to figure out. I think it might be in the metal plates. I'll try removing some of this armor. Besides, don't really need the armor. Honestly, the top probably doesn't do that much either. Okay, I don't know what it doesn't like about this. I'm just going to keep removing stuff until this actually runs at a reasonable rate. Make it a little bit lighter, I guess. Okay. I could make it shorter, since I don't have the top line to drills now. And there goes one of my front wheels. And yeah, there's the other one. And I don't know what this big long line is. Let's try to slow in this. The problem is, like, if you're seeing a glitch, it starts that as soon as I, like, I guess load the machine or whatever. I, I just, I don't know what's giving me this much lag. And I'm sorry that you have to listen to this trumpet medley, but it's the only way of... Well, not the only, it's the easiest way of removing those blocks. Okay, see, now this does fine. So, I have no idea what that was about. Okay. So, these are not connected to anything. I now know this. Well, let's do some bracing, see how this works out. And hopefully, those of you who are here, two rows of girls in the front, same on the... That could work. 
Although, I'm worried that the drills are part of what is uh, slowing everything down. I might put some of those big uh, spike balls in the back to balance the weight a little. Oh, there we go. That's pretty balanced. It's, I mean, it still doesn't want to... doesn't want to go in reverse without jumping. I think this could look... Also doesn't really want to turn. Also, what is going on? Stop! Okay. I don't know. I don't get why the wheel keeps falling off. Okay, I got a broken piece, and you got several broken pieces. In there. Let's try to take down this tower before it all falls apart. Maybe a second set of drills in the back would be a good idea, because this does not seem to... ...stay, like, going in the direction I want to. Wait, wait, am I lined up to take it out? No. Not even remotely. Oh, this whole, that whole front wheel is just, like, not connected to anything anymore. And the drills, apparently, being unbalanced is enough to... Really? Is that being supported by one corner? Oh, no, I'm just the other corner. Okay. There we go. And I have one drill left. And I think I missed some knights out front. Whoa, okay. And apparently having one drill left gives me enough power to do a wheelie. Because, I mean, if, if the Middle Ages were about one thing, it was definitely wheelies. I mean, technically, they were mostly riding horses, so it was, you know, it was called, uh, the horse was rearing, but basically it's a wheelie. Okay. I was about to say, if I keep that other front wheel, I might actually have a chance. Am I missing like two, three guys out front? Yeah, three guys. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can brace these. See how having those braced does. I'm 
still amazed that, oh, okay, I was gonna say that it survived that so well, but then the wheel fell off. Wait, am I just missing? Oh, I, no, I got two guys dead. I was gonna say, am I just missing the ones on the tower? Because, if so, that was actually fairly effective. I kind of want to pull out one of my old designs, because I know I have one with a double catapult. Which could be very useful. And now I have no promos. Okay. Let's save this as fail 2. Don't I... Oh, it was... No, it moved. Yeah, it moved. So I could put something deadly on the front of it and go from there. Catapult wheels. Oh, that's a single catapult. I th thought that was a double. And I have no idea what the button commands for that were for that anymore. I really have no idea if any of these things have ever worked. So... Is that O or zero? Basic Smasher. Let's try to fail two again. I feel like this one has the most potential. Ooh, here's an idea. Maybe if I put on some unpowered wheels in the front. Although that may just shove my drills right into the ground. Oh, that's gonna make them bounce. That's fantastic. That's exactly what I want. <sighs> okay, so much for that idea. Actually, I just saw a guy fall there, and I don't know where he came from. <laughs> so I mean, that's always fun, right? When you kill people and you don't actually know how you killed them. Oh my gosh, I keep doing that. Like, I keep thinking, oh, I'm turning this wheel so that I'll go the other way, and then I turn it the wrong way, and it breaks off. Rosa drills just seems like way too much. Like, I like the idea, but it definitely seems like way too much. Okay. These 
steering thing should be inverted. Okay. So unlike before, it will actually turn instead of just kind of keeping the main body going the same direction. Okay, so far it seems to be working better. Okay, that's all the guys can ground. So it would seem that steering was my basic problem. <laughs> Which, yeah. In this game, should not be that surprising. Okay, one guy left, and I am... There we go. I think I'm almost fully intact. That, and as I say that, a drill falls off. Well done, bro. Well done. Yes! That was totally skill. Totally. Totally skill. It was what, like an hour on that zone? And I have to kill 90% of this flock of birds. Oh, okay. I know how I'm doing this. Again, save this as Driller. Driller, I have they know her. Okay, that was bad. Please ignore that. Um Actually, I can use the same basic the, the base for this, I mean. The idea here is flamethrowers, which may or may not work. So, put a couple going up, and then that is very hard to see. Through. Okay, and it's why to ignite them. And now I guess I wait and see if enough of them caught on fire. The answer is no. Oh, apparently some of them lit me on fire and I didn't even notice. Okay, let's try a different position. Because I feel like I was too far in. Oh, no, no. Okay, that seems much more effective based on the sound of frying seagulls sliding into the ground. Things you don't think you'll ever actually say. Hmm. Let's see if I can set up like a second round. <coughs> and just get rid of these, because I don't think they're helping anything. I should be able to set up separate key bindings, if I remember right. 
Okay. So... I think this you. You. And you. Okay, so the first round will be Y, second round will be U. Oh yeah, major flames. I just noticed there's like a water effect on my screen from the rain. On fire. Look okay, at the last round, I definitely didn't get caught on fire. Which I'm going to take as meaning that I have positioned myself poorly then. Okay, let's try some armor, <laughs> and see if the armor will prevent me from catching on fire. I don't actually know the answer to this, so this will be interesting. And we'll also see if the armor will make me, like, way too top-heavy. A fairly distinct possibility. Or, I keep saying top heavy, I mean front heavy. Well, that's a yes on the front heavy. So, add some more weight. It would be nice if these items had like a stat, like just a statistic for how much they weigh. Like, that would be incredibly useful. I'm just going to watch the birds for a moment here. Like, does their pattern actually change? No, it doesn't. Although I think those birds may be, like, just too high for me to hit at all. At least with a flamethrower like this. Could make something that extends. And there goes me being on fire. Yeah. I, well, no, because I burnt down before I could test. Dang it! Stupid birds, stop lighting me on fire. Once again, on the list of things that you really don't think you'll ever say. Yeah, it's like some of them are just completely out of range. Break all the things. Thank you, Glitter. That's helpful. 
Okay. I'm just testing out the slider things. Okay, it just... Okay. There, that can work. That can work. I will uh, use these contractible springs along with a slider for a number of sliders in order... I guess I do pistons too. That would probably be just as easy. Actually, yeah, I think that would be much easier. Okay. Correction. We will use pistons. This pistons all should have extended. And this will show me if it's like which pistons extend them so I can get rid of the ones that aren't. Okay. Why does it look like it's coming out of the bottom one? Maybe it's not extended because it's not attached? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Okay, the obvious solution here is to complicate the problem by adding more pistons. I mean, that's only logical, right? There we go. That'll get those gosh darn birds that won't catch on fire. Because, yeah. Ooh, that's this. How about we start with you? Oh, come on, really? Okay, if I can not get myself caught on fire, I think that'll work. It's so close. Oh, look at that. I'm like, what, like five short? Ugh. Okay, this can work. Yeah, all I'm coming up with right now is 
add more flamethrowers with separate release time. <laughs> so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh. I've, honest, I've seriously got nothing else here. And this is several times been super, super close. Maybe I'll switch this one back to Y. Okay. See how this does. No, 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 no. Okay. Move it into place more slowly. Possibly just stay here for a moment and see how many of them kill themselves just by running into me. Why? Oh, which is a huge one, which was actually not my intent. That may get on its own. No, 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 no. I'm so close. No! Oh, come on. Yes! As I smolder into ashes. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Um. Oh, okay. Apparently for this one I have to fly. Save this as. Hmm, fried chicken. Because. Why not? Just to be sure. I just. Yep. And splat. Okay then. I don't know. If I could make a medieval sniper rifle, maybe I could hit them. <laughs> okay, destroy. Oh, I only have to destroy two of them? There's like five? Or six, or more? Six. Okay, let's load my test flyer. And... Okay. And find out that it doesn't work well. Oh, they added balloons now, instead of just the, the ballast. That's good news. That's very good news. Okay, I think they increased the ballast too, because this was, like... Is C not the button to control these? Oh. That, okay, that could have something to do with it. Having this 
on the front. Seems like a very poor choice. Let's see what this does. Wing panel. But okay, I'm not sure how this is useful. Yes, very much yay. And look at that, I cut my time down from the last level by like half an hour. Whoa, okay. And now I know why there is ballast up here. Okay, apparently that wing panel is like super heavy. Super, super heavy. <laughs> okay, and I've accidentally killed some of the seagulls. I feel like the uh, the flying part of this should have its own tutorial. Oh look, look, I landed. Cause that's something I'm supposed to do. Not really. Okay. 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 I don't know. What I'm saying okay repeatedly. I wonder if I can pop the balloons. Like, if I can just get this thing to stay level and go forward, can I just attach two bombs to it and drop them? Because that seems like a good plan to me. Let's try that. Let's add some theory, I'd... I have a feeling this is not going to work well at all. But we will try it. No, that did not work. Rotate him up and down. I wish there was just like an always on though. Which. Okay. Let's try doing this the not ridiculous way. Where's the rotating block? The spinning block. Okay, put this on top and add some of the aerodynamic propellers. Okay, and see what happens. What if I add ballast to the center? What if I add a lot of ballast to the center? <laughs> So my goal here is, I, I'm trying to get this thing to stay airborne, like, on its own. If I can just get it to float, it's basically a cakewalk from there. And I'm realizing I use that term, I don't even know what the term means. I probably shouldn't use that term. Okay, one to the front and one to the back. 
I could, okay, if this doesn't work, what I'm gonna do is try, um, try doing a square and one at each corner. And losing the wings completely. Okay, can I change the direction of those? The splitting, the splitting, no, splitting. I can talk. The spinning blocks really only go the one direction. Is there seriously not a way to? That's ridiculous. If that's not, come on. Oh, okay, I can make you go back. I don't want you to go faster, so I, I want you to be negative so I can make you go the other way. Huh? How about that? Oh, that's nice that I can paste info so if I have multiple settings I don't have to redo them every time, I can just copy and paste. These things are just going to continue to spin unless these blocks can go a different direction. And it doesn't appear that they can. Oh, whoops. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, now it's just not going to connect. Really? It's like, sure, I'll go the other direction. By the way, I'm not actually going to connect to what you're doing, though. Okay, fine. We will try to find a way around that. There. Aha. There's a way to make this one the other one that I'm missing. What am I... Do I have a, con a controls button? Can I see... Rotate 90 degrees, flip wheel direction. What if I don't want... Why can the spinning block not just go two different ways? Okay, you know what? You're gonna pull this. We are going to try to find a way around it, because the four corner thing that I talked about, I'm quite sure won't even work if I can't even get this. Like, if I can't get them going different ways, it's just still gonna spin in a circle. Which is remarkably not helpful. So... Let's try this. What I've done is I put a wheels because I can control their their power. And now I'm gonna put flying propeller things going the correct direction on top of the wheels. Which unfortunately means I will still have to hold down a button. Getting rid of the wings. Now trying. 
Okay. And going to the four corners of Croach, because otherwise I'm going to scream and, you know, throw a keyboard or something. Not really. I'm not one of those type of people, but I will get very upset. And it's a game, so why should I get upset, right? See if this works. Oh, no, that was supposed to be. Dang it, one wider. Because <sighs> I would like to center the ballast in this. I wish there was a way to, like, copy sections of what you did and repaste them. That seems like it'd be very, very helpful. around with this one to get these going the correct direction. Because I have no idea what the direction actually should be. But we will try. Oh, and it's good I moved that because I don't think... Yeah, I, that wouldn't have fit before. Oh. Didn't move the ballast after all that. Seem to look pretty good though. And in case anyone's wondering, yes, it is going to bug the crap out of me that uh, the center block is over there. was right about that, it is just going to... Wait a second. Okay, opposite corners it is. I also realize I'm doing this a very silly way. Yeah, now I'm gonna try... gosh. Okay, it's about learning, and I do actually like this idea. I may come back to it later, but I have had a thought that probably will be much easier since there are balloons, which I should know because I kind of like, rejoiced about them before. I'm 
trick is see if there are going to be enough to lift this. And then to lift it with all of the additional things. Oh. Also might help if I took off the ballast. This one. Okay, so that is enough to lift it straight up. And apparently this block does impact way less, which means I need to redo some of this. Which is frustrating. Because otherwise this whole thing's gonna be off balance. Which is going to be problematic. But fortunately, I don't have propellers anymore, so that'll make it a little easier. No, wait, I have that right. So the trick is going to be Okay, maybe if I add, if I can add another flying thing in the center of each of these. Flying block, okay. So the flying thing was not that far off. Oh, and I've got one. I feel like a wait, a wait, uh, just note would be a very smart thing for them to add, just so I can have an idea of what's going on. I can't actually tell if I'm moving <laughs> towards this or not. Seems like I'm moving more when I fall.
Okay, there we go. There we go. I wish you could see my hands right now, like... <laughs> what I am doing to do this. Oh, oh, there we go. I thought I was going to have to go farther. And drop! No! No, 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 no. Come on. I'm just basically belly flopping these things. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And see if I can land this. Just mostly because I'm curious. Oh. I can. All right. That's 3 levels down. And I have a good name for that one. I shall name you Dirigible-ish. And I'm pretty sure I misspelled Dirigible, but I'm okay with that. Reach Insignia. Okay. Uh, since I know... where is it? There we go. Small and fast. Do I not have... Like, are these not powered wheels? Okay. It looks like something glitched with loading this. Or maybe they've changed something. Uh, let's add some motor wheels. Oh, I know why. Okay, this is my uh, this is one of my tank builds. So I need to check five and two, four and one. Okay. Five and two and four. Okay. Oh, great kamikaze things. I was not expecting kamikaze cows. Well, I got to the first one. Okay. So, clearly this design isn't gonna work. Let's load up... Yeah, let's see. Load... Dirigible-ish and see... Like, I'm genuinely curious to know if this will count if I just like fly through the insignia. Yeah, you can't blow me up if you can't reach me. Okay, it counts if I fly through it. So we are just going to take dirigible-ish and Slowly make our way through. Huh. 
possibly say some things to taunt the cows. Nah. Silly bovine, you shall not defeat me. I don't know, that's that's about all I've got for cow insults right now. Gosh, I have a whole herd of cows under me with bombs strapped to them. I don't know. This is level four, so there's like one more after this. Yeah, and then I will drop on the cows. <laughs> oh, that's good. After this next one, I might come back and try to build a tank. See if I can do anything. The Duke's Dear Freighters. Destroy Freighter Convoy. Why do I think these things are gonna fly, like, fight back? I, I think that because they are in fact going to fight back. Hmm. Let's try my tank base. Let's see how far up cannons can shoot. Some blocks on for the cannons to attach to. Cause the game's gonna be thicky. No, yeah, you can't just have cannons everywhere. Well, game, if I want to have cannons everywhere, I should be able to have cannons everywhere. I'm pretty sure that's my right. Right to to bear cannons or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that there's not a right to bear cannons, but... Okay, let's see... There are kamikaze cows in this too. And I have... Oh, four of these things. I thought it was only three. Okay. Let's see, we got one... Two... Three... Four. Okay, four of the kamikaze cows. So that means I need at least four cannons on this thing that are not pointing straight up. And I don't know why I'm determined to do this using, like, only cannons, but I apparently am. Okay, let's change you. T, I guess, yeah, why not? And you to Y. Okay. The normal C is the normal firing. Okay, so B, B, B. B. And... There we go. So, I'm hoping that four cannonballs can destroy one of these things. Because my thought is just get under each one of them and do this. And 
I don't really care that much if something gets, like, blown off when I'm doing this, so... Right now I'm trying to... Nope! That was definitely the wrong one. T is the one I wanted. Oh, which apparently shoots off to the side zone. Hmm. Okay. This strategy could work. Assuming I can... Oh wow, I broke that whole front quarter. I think that's the C corner. <laughs> that's that's going to be my main problem with this. I'm not going to remember what DP does. They took down two of them somehow. Not gonna complain. Oh, and my whole center part broke free. Okay, so this can work. Bear cannon. <laughs> Shooting bears out of a cannon might be hazardous to everyone's health. Okay. First of all, you're Y and you are T because that lines up better on my keyboard. And let's make you G and you H. And then I have C, V, B, M, C, V, D, M. Okay. And now let's brace the crap out of this thing. Because otherwise... Well, we already saw what's going to happen otherwise. So I don't think I really even need to talk about that very much. And fortunately, braces can go straight through cannons. So, that works out well. I can't wait to come back to this later, and hopefully try to use this rig and be like, what was I on when I set up these these uh, commands here? Like, well, they, I do have a control. Well, no, I don't think this has controller support. I was gonna say it'd probably be easier to map stuff with a controller, but oh well. also going to require me hitting these uh, kawakazis, I guess, on the first try. Okay. Actually, go ahead and try to take out this second one. I'm 
missed the second one. Zero turn radius, which is kind of why I love the tank builds. Let's see, turn out should be that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, which should go that guy? I wonder if there's a way of using just the cows to destroy them. Because that would be kind of fun. User are done. Two left. Okay, I got a Kamikaze guy over there, but I only have one shot left, and there's one over here. So if I go around this way, I think I can avoid the one, and hopefully take out the second one. So, let us... spin around randomly, and then go this way. I think I just used H. Which should mean this is the next one to use. No wait, this is A, okay. I used G, this is A. On. Oh! Uh, which means he's gonna bombard me so we get over there. But the idea is sound, which honestly right now is like kind of my priority thing. It's like as long as the idea sounds, I just need to, you know, aim better. Where is it? Oh. It's too... <laughs> it's so close. Why? Look at this. Look at this. Can I really not? Oh, my center block disconnected, so I can't control those anymore. Okay. As long as I aim better, it'll work. There we go. I will... I will take that. Should also probably be getting a little closer to the cows for these shots. But. Oh, really? That had to, like, hit the front of him. Ugh. Okay, so this should be... This is H this time. I guess it was H last time, but this time I know what I'm aiming, I think. Oh, really? You... Jerk. Cow. 
Get out of my way, I'm trying to shoot your friend. Oh, and then I launched the wrong one. And then I... Okay. Try this again. <laughs> will get this. Like, I'm fully convinced now that this build is solid. That hit it. It just wasn't strong enough anymore. Okay. So confirm that I just need to get closer to some of them. why these things don't cast any shadows. That's kind of stupid. Like, targeting a whole lot of Unless that's some kind of just tactical advantage. They have anti-shadow anti technology. There we go. They have parts that I don't recognize either. Like, I didn't... I don't recognize these struts, or this. Okay. There's another one down. Bam, bam, bam. Another cow back to dust. Matter now. Bam, bam. And another cow down, and another cow down. I'm gonna stop now. Okay, this should be Cannon H. Except for that giant beam that's in between us. Uh, which means I'm gonna have to like completely re aim. And hope that I don't get too close. Okay, good. There's one more on Canon G. And this should be Canon's on B, I believe. I am starting to fall apart there. 